love Mark. He's a great that was guy. awesome. I love it. He is. Well, we all know our next guest. She's a talk show host, author, comedian, and reality television star. And with that savvy business sense comes an even keener sense of style. Yep. Jenny McCarthy joins us live from New York this morning with some insight on how to keep our look fresh, fashion forward, and functional. Good morning, Jenny. You are a busy woman and mom, and your look evolves every year. What tips can you give us for keeping our look current? Well, I gotta tell you, I don't consider myself a fashionable person, but I do rely on resources and the people <laughs> that know what they're talking about. And I, I found a website called iaccessorize.com when I started wearing glasses, um, because I wanted to treat glasses kind of like any, any other fashion accessory. I wanted multiple pairs, kind of reflect how I'm feeling or, you know, um, spice things up. And the website had so many different eyeglasses to choose from. Eyebobs, Corinne McCormick, Chinzia, to name a few. But the great thing about this site is, you know, in case you don't know what glasses would work on your face, your shape, the color of your skin, your hair color, this website really kind of lines you up according to what works best with you. And also the trends that are going on right now, like frames and jade and emerald greens are trending. Uh, for eye bobs, and then also like men right now, matte black glasses are trendy. So this way you can kind of keep up with what's going on on the website. I know every year I feel like you have to update your, your sunglasses and yeah. to, to see what else is out there. But what are, like you, you were talking about some of the new trends out there. So is black something that's big out there with a matte black for just everyone or is it just men in general? Right now, men are trending with matte black. Women, a lot of colorful glasses, like the ones kind of I'm wearing, they go great with blonde hair. But also, like I said, jade is trending right now. Um, the aviators are working for men. Those seem to be, uh, those, those are always trendy to me. You can't go wrong. Corrine McCormick frames, they say on the website, you know, use a little red lip to balance out the face, but it complements their black lace glasses. I love the different you glasses tips that you to go wear. along with the glasses. I love the different glasses that you I wear. I feel I like, like, you know, you make the glasses look right. sexy, right. whatever she wears. Why can't I look like that? We always <laughs> say that. Why can't I look like that? Are there some <laughs> common rules or tips to follow that like pick the right frame? Yeah, you know, like on the website, they really do describe, like for instance, I can consider myself to have a kind of a longer, thinner face. So I always go with a cat eye lens because it kind of lifts up my face and it widens it out a little bit. So depending on your shape, it really tells you on the website, these would work best on you. These would complement you the most. You have this color hair, go with this color. So you're not kind of left to your, of your own device going, I don't know what works. You can really rely on what they're telling you. And when you do colored glasses with colored, you know, colored, uh, colored frames, mm -hmm. do you have to match them with you know, your handbag or your shoes or is it just usually the lipstick they have to worry about in the makeup? No, you know what, it, it really depends. I don't really prefer for myself matchy matchy. Like, I don't know if I would wear red glasses and you know, a red top and a red purse. Um, it's really up to you, you know, you can spice things up with color, but um, like ICU eyewear has a bunch of different ones like royal blue. I just tend to um, go with my gut in terms of when I, getting, when, I'm, when I get dressed, but there's no doubt this website has helped me when I'm in a pickle and I just <laughs> don't know what to do. And of course, you know, we have to ask so what you're busy working on now and what's coming up for you? Well, we, we're continuing with Donnie Loves Jenny. We'll have another season uh, coming out in December. And then my radio show on Sirius XM is Monday through Friday um, at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you got to listen in. Yep, and, and it's amazing because you went to Catholic girls school at Mother Macaulay, and now you've, you've gone from having to wear a school uniform to actually wearing whatever you want now, which is kind of <laughs> nice, isn't it? <laughs> Thank God, although sometimes I wish I could still wear a uniform. It was much easier. <laughs> I didn't like it then, but I, I, I wish it now. Well, Jenny, finally, where can our viewers go to get more information about the tips that you provided today? If you go to iaccessorize.com, iaccessorize.com, you'll find all of these designers, many more. Jenny, thank you so thank much you. for taking the time out to speak with us here in Memphis, Tennessee on Local Memphis Live. Thank you. Well, coming up next, Dr. Bouton is here to discuss Crohn's disease. Yep, but first we are going to learn how to make a routine drink to celebrate the first birthday of Ride the Roost. Stick around for that. Happy birthday! <laughs>